Hey everyone, I thought I'd do an unboxing video today on YouTube on Eternals Information Technology Group. Uh, ignore the coat. Uh, it's a little chilly in my room right now. Well, since I've gone Roswell pretty much throughout my whole server setup, the cases, the rack, the cage bolts I plan on replacing with silver ones, uh, I decided to upgrade Gyla Server's power supply. Mainly because the, one of the cables just is not long enough, and I could have fixed that with a cable extension, but... Excuses to buy parts. And I decided to go with a Roswell power supply. It is a 450 watt, 80 plus bronze certified uh, power supply unit. Comes with 3 year warranty. Uh, let's see if I can figure out what I did with my tripod. Wait. Please ignore the rest of the room again. I'm still under the illness. Oi. Beep, 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 beep. Wait, too far. Wait, set that there. Take track off because now I'm overheating. Alright, because I'm moving. No, I'm not moving houses. I'm just moving. Oh. So, the reason I decided to go with Roswell this time is it was cheaper than Cooler Master and EUGA. I normally prefer EVGA power supply units over anyone else. Reason for that is I've never had issues out of EVGA. I used to use, uh, I used to use Cooler Master power supply units. But, they're not almost always sleep. So, like I said, this is the Roswell 150 watt arc power supply. Uh, it comes with a manual. Oi. Comes with introduction and all that. Explains what it comes with. As well as what their other models would come with. Now, uh, here's the power cable. Oi. And this is a really nice power supply unit. I just have the cables long enough. Uh, sweet. Comes with what looks like a 120 millimeter fan. Oh, wait. You up here. Oh, wait, hope that's better. Uh, let's go ahead and unbind this so that I can count up the connectors. Yes, I could go through the manual, but that'd be easy part. <clears throat> All of them are, well, not sleeved, but they still look pretty nice. They are, I don't know the word for it, but they're all in one piece. Which means technically I could splice them if I need to. Comes with what looks like one PCIe connector. Let's see, two SATA ports there. Molex connectors, three of them, plus the one normally used for floppy drives. Oh see, looks like two more SATA cables, so a total of four SATA so far. The two pin power, uh, CQ connectors. And a normal, wow, that's unique. Uh, looks like 24 pin main power supply for the motherboard. This looks like it uses two hooks to hold it together, which I actually like that style better. Makes it easier to put them in. Just the amount of trouble I've had uh, putting in the floor than the 24, than the 20, or things like that. Comes with the normal standard bag of goodies. Zip ties. EVJ, please do this. I normally buy packs of 600 of these for computer builds. That saved me a lot of time. And it looks like the mounting screws for it. But yeah, it comes with three year warranty. I've said that enough. Um. DC output, 103 watts on the 3 volt rail, the 5 volt rail. Uh, ignore me, I'm rambling, I've been up forever again. And I just got back from the hospital. Heart's not doing too good, but ignore that. Um, has your power switch here. And it looks like it's really simple in its design. Once again, warranty void. Technically these are illegal, but I'm not getting into that again. But yeah, it looks like this gets to go on the Gyla server. Let's see, where is my 
410. Aha. No, that's the PCIe. Yes, people, I always get lost. Well, by the way, I will show you Gaila server after I put this in. See y'all later, and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of a new power supply for one of my servers.